Good morning, super cool party people, and welcome to day 10 in Blind Channel. It's a beautiful day right now. It's quite nice, but it is supposed to rain later, so we'll see what happens. Because I did all the work that I was supposed to do out here, it means I can focus on my stuff. So first things first, I think I'm going to finish the vlog for the last three days and then get into some writing. I did chapter one yesterday and I feel like it's shaping up so much better. So it's very exciting, but I'm barely awake. So I might turn on the TV for a little bit to kind of wake up. Let's go get the dog. You wanna come out, Lucky? You wanna come out? Come on. No? Okay, I get it, it's cold. Oh, you're coming? Okay, good. Mm. Hey, sweetie. I don't know where Strudel went. <laughs> come on, come on. So it is getting quite brisk outside. I just had to go fuel about, well, I mean, go down while they fueled and it was probably like a half hour kind of thing. So they took a lot of fuel and it was so cold. The wind was whipping up. I think the winds died down a little bit, but it was getting pretty rough there for a while. I'm now back inside. It's about 11.30, so I should think about making food at some point, but also I'm really lazy. But yeah, so I'm just hanging out trying to convince myself to get back into editing. I think I got a couple paragraphs into chapter two, but I mean, I'm not too concerned because I feel like I've done so much this last week that if I don't do any more, it's okay as well. There's also a few things I need to figure out, like distance from places, so I should probably draw a map. I actually bought on Amazon two pads of like 11 by 17 graphing paper, which should work well for planning stuff out because it's what I've done in the past when I've wanted to plan things that I needed to do maps for, so I figured it would work here. Um, I just, I felt like the eight by 11 wasn't big enough, so I decided to get the bigger one. I should, I think, I think it said that it might appear on the 19th, so like next week sometime, so. That's exciting because I very much would like it. <laughs> um, but I can still at least kind of figure out kind of maps. Like I was doing in my notebook, like the show before I came out here. So that'd be good. But for the town specifically that the story starts in, I, there's like four different times in this book where it's like, oh, it took half an hour to walk to this place. And then it took like two hours. And that, so I need to figure that out. But it's not super important right now, but kind of will be soon. I just got very sad news on the phone. Not like sad, sad news, just sucky news. So last week the liquor order was supposed to come and the delivery company called and they're like, oh no, like we're, we only have half of your order so we're just gonna wait till we have the whole thing, we'll bring it next week. And so I was like, oh, like Friday next week? And she was like, oh, I'm not sure. And well, she just called me and it's coming tomorrow at about 2 p.m. when I am the only person on property. <laughs> which means I have to deal with it all myself. There is actually like the grandfather's caretaker. She kind of like helps out around the property. So she'll obviously probably likely help me. She's a nice person, so she probably will. But still, it's gonna suck. I hope it's not a big order. I could go back to the store and find the uh, invoice and then I'd know for sure, but <sighs> we shall see. Also, this is exciting. I am blogging. I haven't vlogged since I was out here in the summer, like at the beginning of the summer when I was like, oh, the internet's too bad, I can't do this because I was hoping to vlog more while I was out here, but I didn't. Um, and I vlogged this morning and I'm writing a post to go up tomorrow because I don't want to edit, but I don't want to just sit here and do nothing, so I'm being productive. So that's cool. I miss vlogging. I used to vlog every single day and now I vlog every single day and it's too much to do both. But 
I do enjoy vlogging. I'm writing about editing right now, which is like weird. It feels super meta, writing about writing. Anyway, I'm gonna keep doing that. I just wanted to share my very sad news for tomorrow. Maybe what I'll do is I'll like strap my GoPro on or something while I do it, get some footage. <laughs> so I edited chapter two of my book. <laughs> so, I mean, progress. I'm not looking forward to chapter three because if I recall, just looking at the notes, it says, Bad English to start, that's the first note. Second note is awkward first paragraph, especially the end. Kind of goes on like this, this is a short chapter, expand this chapter. And then the last note is overall just a little awkward. So this chapter is going to need quite a bit of work. But I think Strudel's mom is going to be getting back soon. So I'm getting ready to go down to the dock. I've put my rain pants back on and uh, toqued up. I just need to grab my rain jacket and the lovely headlamp. It's funny because I bought the headlamp for when I went hiking by myself and stuff just in case it ended up getting dark out. I never ended up using it and then I brought it out with me in the summer and I think I used it like maybe twice and since I've been out here I like use it every single day because it gets so dark so early. Anyway, that's where I'm at right now. Nothing super exciting going on other than chapter two is done which means only 27 more to go except I think I need to write another chapter in the middle somewhere there. So I can't remember if I mentioned it, but this morning I had my first phone call at like 7.20 or something. It's like, it's just mean, who does that? And now I just had to pick up the phone. I thought it was gonna be Strudel's mom calling, but it was actually a customer. So I'm glad that I wasn't like, what's up? <laughs> um, but yeah, and it's like 10 after nine. <sighs> Such a long day. Anyway, you know what, that like 10 after 9, I'm not even supposed to be awake still, which means that I am actually in my pajamas and I'm getting ready to go to bed. So with that, I'm going to say goodnight on day 10, wow, in Blind Channel, and I'll see you tomorrow for day 11 and like the last full day it seems. It's so crazy. Good night. <laughs> Good morning, super cool party people, and welcome to day 11 in Blind Channel. The day where it seems like it has no intention of ever stopping to rain. It is coming down so hard, I don't know if you can hear that, but it's, I just, I don't want to go outside ever. But, today is mail day, and assuming there's mail to go out, I will have to get the mail together, and then when the plane gets here I have to go down, and it's also the day that the liquor order is finally showing up, of course! I'm super excited, as you can tell. Ugh. Anyway, um, it's about 20 after 7. I woke up at 7 and my body was like, you're up, wake up. And I was like, I don't want to be up, but I'm rested, so that's fine. I'm just sitting here checking the weather, which is terrible. And, um, yeah, we'll, uh, see how the day goes from here, I guess. It's also my last full day out here. It's crazy. Well, I've had a pretty productive morning so far. It's only 8 o'clock, no, it's only 9 o'clock. And I've started to pack up because like I'm leaving tomorrow. So I've got pretty much everything packed in here. And the cool thing is, uh, yeah, I ripped this, but my cooler fits in there now that it's empty and I still have all this space and my backpack over there. So I should have a ton of room and then myself and the grandfather's caretaker slash other worker up here. I was, she like came by cause she wanted to mail stuff. I was like, all right, do you, I need a favor from you. I need you to help me with this liquor later. And she's like, yeah, I can do that. I was like, and do you know how to drive the Gator? And she was like, no, but we can figure it out together. So we went and we got it. And do you see that? It is parked on the standing dock and I reversed it all the way down, which I think is pretty awesome. I'm pretty proud of myself because I don't drive. And so not only to like figure out how to drive that and it's got like a real, like it's got a really touchy gas. So it's like you push, you push, you push and then it jerks but to not only drive it and then just get it all the way down the standing dock without hitting anything, yeah, success. Anyway, my butt is wet though, cause the seat was wet, sad. Um, and I'm just gonna putter around the house for a bit more and then in about an hour, I'll probably go let the dogs out. Woof, 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 woof. <laughs> but yeah, so it's been productive and a good day so far. There's whales. <gasps> Whales.
So I was just sitting inside working my store and I looked out the window and there were killer whales going through the bay. Ooh, I didn't even close my door. So I got a little bit of footage there, but wow, so cool. Um, there had at least three for sure in that pod and maybe more, but it's really cool. Footage isn't the best, I don't think, but whales, they were whales. Also, I'm like, a terrible employee because I ran, I didn't even have my radio, I just ran. <laughs> Today. I've actually been like non-stop probably for like the last hour and a half now because like the mail plane showed up and then a boat showed up to fuel and come up to the store and and then the phone rang and then I was like oh I gotta pee and so I just about sit down to pee radio call so it's been a busy day I'm just waiting for the liquor see see what I mean Uh, not yet, but I'm expecting it any minute here. So, it's been nonstop. So the liquor order should be here soon, but the nice thing is, is both of my, or two of my skippers are back on land, which means they will help with it. So it's not just giving me and the other lady doing it. So I'm very stoked about that. Anyways, I'm gonna go outside because I'm real warm all of a sudden and get ready for this liquor order to come. I should probably like open the store so the door will be open, all that fun type of stuff. Last time I vlogged have I like oh I don't know anyway um, it's 9 30 now which as we know is way past my bedtime but my one skipper is still out she just called me to let me know that she's on her way back but she's about an hour and a half or so away at this point so I'm, I'm glad to know that she is safely on her way back but also I'm gonna stay up until she gets home because I care <laughs> um, I also want to go check on the dogs again too because the dogs are home alone and they probably aren't a fan of it um, I'm just sitting here I am editing vlog footage so that when it's time for me to put this footage in it's not gonna be like a million tons of footage anyway <laughs> Um, I've also, I mean, continued to spread out and make a mess, but I'm also moderately slowly packing. Um, I pulled this out because I figure I'll put it on that side <laughs> on top of everything else. But we're making progress. It's just like all my tech stuff over there, which will go in my backpack. And then I gotta pack that up too. And then just my bathroom stuff here. So. We are making good progress. Um, oh, you can't see me. I'm a little tired, but that's okay. We're still going strong. Not sure what time we're leaving tomorrow. It's gonna be probably sometime before noon. Um, the guy that I'm going out with, he has to do a couple runs first thing in the morning. But yeah, so I think I'm just gonna finish editing here. I got like two more clips to do, and then I will go check on the paparoonies. Like, Strudel just left me. Strudel abandoned me. We were like, she was in here, she was happy, she was content, and then she's like, I want to go outside. So she went outside, and then the other skipper on property, like, radioed me. I was like, can you open the stores? So I was like, oh, fine. And then Strudel was like, please let me go home. So I let her in. I'm sure she's napping now. So if I go over there to check on them, they'll probably both be like, why are you here? And I feel like I've been talking too much. So I'm going to go now. I'm going to finish this edit and then I will go check on the dogs and hopefully not get attacked on my way across the property because it's really dark out and Strudel was growling at things earlier and that's concerning. I'm not going to lie, there's definitely something like a little disconcerting about going outside and being almost completely silent. Like there's a creek back here that I could hear. And there's a creek slash river over there that I could hear. 
and then I could hear the generator, but other than that, it was like dead silent. Obviously, I didn't get eaten. The dogs are fine. They made me so sad. They look so pathetic. They miss their mom, but I gave them lots of love, and now I'm back here, and we got about 45 minutes to an hour before their mommy shows up, so it's good. I don't really have to pay attention until then, so that's good. I'm just gonna watch some Christmas movies, shockingly enough. Alrighty, so it is just after 11 on day 11 in Blind Channel. Oh, crazy how that worked. It's actually 11-11, so what? Anyway, um, my skipper is home safe now. She's gone off to her puppers and to go to sleep. And I'm gonna jump in the shower and I'm going to do the same thing. So with that, thank you for joining me on this day number 11, the last full day in Blind Channel. And I'll see you tomorrow for day number 12 and departure. <laughs> Good night. Good morning, super cool party people, and welcome to Departure Day in Blind Channel. It is also raining super lots, and I realized that I packed up all my clothes except for what I was wearing yesterday, but it's cold, so it's fine, so I'll just wear it again. But this just does not look enjoyable at all. Ugh. Anyway, I'm just starting to kind of pack up my last few things. I mean, at some point I'll get dressed um, all the way, and then I need to go over and see Strudel's mom because I've got to touch base with her on a few things before I leave. I also need to do the dishes, blah, 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 blah. So I got quite a bit to do. I tried to sleep in. I woke up at 7.30, yeah, but it's okay. And um, I'm gonna put this down now and I'm gonna get to it. I am not looking forward to going back out in this. So I went out and I checked, or I went to the store because I had to do some stuff there, and then I went, and I touched base with Strudel's mom because like I'm leaving before the rest of the family gets back so I want to make sure that she knew everything that was going on. But this, it's terrible and it's super windy. When I was in the store, I stopped by the restaurant so you get some cell service and it was so windy and so rainy. Uh, anyways, I'm just cooking the last of my food right now. I dropped off a lot with Strudel's mom. I was like, here's food, enjoy. Um, so I'm just cooking the last of my food right now. And I think we're gonna be leaving in about an hour, give or take. I'm mostly packed, just a little bit of stuff here. And like my laptop, but we're doing pretty good. But I'm gonna go, frying pan's probably warm now, so I should put my food in there. not getting any nicer outside and I've packed up my rain pants and I'm kind of regretting it but like I don't want to sit in my rain pants the entire trip back so I mean I guess I could take them off when we get into the car but also I don't want to sit in soaking pants I don't know I'm I'm conflicted like it's just coming down so hard right now this is the worst it's been since I've been out here obviously because it's like it was bad when we came in like it was pretty rainy but Today is so much worse, so that's great. Um, I think we're about T minus 30 minutes until we depart. Hey, uh, yeah. Eric says it's flat calm when he was out this morning. Whereabouts are you? Whenever Skipper's out, he's trying to figure out how rough it is, so yeah. Fun time. Alrighty, I just got home and it feels weird to be here. That's, I know that's super weird, but I'm home. It was a very easy, very relaxing ride back. It wasn't choppy on the water. It was, it was good. Um, I need to pee really badly now, so I'm going to do that and um, try to warm up because obviously my heat's been off in my room since I left and it's a little brisk in here. Alright, well, it's been a long day, I feel. I haven't vlogged a lot, but um... I got home, I put a roast in the crock pot because mmm, roast, and just kind of puttered. I've been unpacking, trying to organize a bit. I pulled out a bunch of my games, um, and this isn't all of them, but now I just want to, I want to play them. I want to do a bunch of Sing Star. Uh, Burnout 3 is like one of my favorite games, and like Legend of Zelda, and like so many more in here too. While I was out in Blind Channel, I was actually thinking that'd be great to play not Wind Waker, Phantom Hourglass again because it was such a fun game even though you had to keep going back to the same dungeon. Um, so I might pick up something on a portable at some point here soon. Uh, we shall see, but not gonna happen tonight. 
I'm pretty tired and I do have to work tomorrow. Yay, no rest for the wicked. So with that, this ends the blind channel vlogs and I will see you tomorrow for regular life. <laughs> Good night. Thank you.